As many of you will know, crochet blankets, without doubt, have my crochet heart. They are my favourite thing to crochet. I kind of steer away from them ever so slightly in the summer months, but in the winter I will be absorbed in blanket making from baby blankets to big throws to just normal blankets of all different patterns and variety and colours. I just absolutely love them. It's what I taught myself. It's how I taught myself to crochet at the very, very beginning. My first projects were crochet. I made this lovely crochet blanket that is sat behind us that you can see. I think this was probably one of my first crochet projects that I did. So I love, love them. So I wanted to make this video to share with you 10 super easy beginner friendly crochet patterns. It will give you some concept of some of the blankets that are out there for you to be created, but I'm also going to give you 10 free crochet patterns that I found on the internet so you can go and make your own. But again, like I said, it will give you shell stitch, block stitch, granny square, granny striped, corner to corner. So you will know that if you don't quite like this particular pattern, you can then go and source one that you like through the stitch that it will use. So it's just going to open your mind up to some variety of crochet blankets that are available and this list is by no means all. There's loads of blanket stitches, there are loads of blanket ideas but this is just to get you thinking and hopefully inspire you and if you're a crochet beginner we'll give you some options of some free crochet patterns that you can go and explore. If you are new to my channel, my name is Amy and on this page we talk all things crochet, from crochet tutorials, tips, tricks, yarn hauls, vlogs and everything in between. If you are not new and you're a return of subscriber, thank you so much for clicking and joining me for another video. Okay, let's just jump straight in and I will share these patterns with you. So first up, we have got a blanket designed by the pattern designer Daisy Cottage Design. This blanket that you can see behind you is designed by her. She was one of the first designers that I saw. I love her work. She's one of my favourites. And this pattern is the shell stitch. I will pop a picture of the blanket up here for you. And this is gorgeous. I love the colour yarn that this designer has chosen to use. And the shell stitch is a really nice stitch as a beginner to get your head around. As long as you can do a double crochet by putting the stitches in the same space it creates that shell vision that you see on these blankets shell stitches are used quite a lot in baby blankets as well and you can do so much adaption with it you could do each row of this blanket in a different color or you could just keep it one block color like this blanket that i'm sharing with you now i really like this one i feel like it's it's really simple but really really effective and is just gorgeous you could make this a baby size, you could make this in all the different sizes that you may possibly want to use. Next up, we have got the block blanket and I will pop a little photo up here for you. And this is by the pattern designer Knitting With Chopsticks. What a great name. Love the name of this pattern designer. Really, really nice. And I love how they've used all different colours and they've done blocks. So it's almost like a patchwork blanket. Um, I really, really like it. I think this would be perfect if you've got loads of scrap yarn. Um, and when I say scrap yarn, I don't just mean little bits, but you've got like small amounts of yarn. Um, I would personally use acrylic for this blanket. So if you've got loads of odd bits of acrylic, this would be a really cool blanket because you could literally have it completely multicolored. Um, and I think it would give a really, really lovely effect to the blanket. By the looks of it, and I've not read into the pattern very much, but it looks like this could be double crochet stitches. So again, perfect for a crochet beginner and would really enable you to get the double crochet down by the time that you've finished this blanket. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a blocked blanket that you potentially can use your scrap yarn and you can also do it multicolored, then this potentially is the blanket for you. Next up is this super, super chunky, cozy blanket this will be perfect for the winter 
Christmas season. It uses super chunky yarn. Um, there'll be so many varieties out there that you can pick from, depending on how chunky you do want this. You could also even consider using Chanel yarn for this and make it really soft or even fleece blanket yarn as well. And that would be gorgeous for the winter months. And it's just a really lovely pattern. When I first started to crochet, I preferred chunkier yarn. I don't know what it was. I think it just was easier for me to get used to the stitches. And this pattern just got some really beautiful detailing as well. This blanket's got a really lovely story to it. It's called the Faith Blanket and it was created in 2020. The designer created this pattern and called it a Faith due to COVID and how she needed faith that we were gonna come out the other end. And look at us now, in 2024, we have definitely come out the other end. No longer in lockdown, we were able to see friends and family, which is really, really lovely. So I love the meaning behind this blanket. The next pattern is an absolute blanket classic. It's the granny square. Making a granny square blanket, the possibilities are completely endless. From your colour scheme, from the size, from the size of the square to the shape. There's so many things you can do. If you can master as a crochet beginner a granny square, the amount of crochet projects you can then go on to create is massive, massive and massive. So much crochet work is built off granny squares. And this blanket is exactly the same. This blanket, I imagine you'd have to make 50 granny squares, depending on the size, in whatever colours you want. You can do them all the same. You can mix it up. You could do granny squares all in a block colour, or you could do each round as a different colour. Great for scrap yarn, great for using your imagination and thinking up all these gorgeous colour schemes. And then you would just seam all the granny squares together to make one big blanket. Again, completely adaptable. You can make baby blankets, toddler blankets, adult blankets, big throws, make it absolutely huge. It's entirely up to you, but as a crochet beginner, this is an amazing project to take on. I would say that it is probably gonna take you a long time. Granny square blankets take a lot of time because you're making all the squares individually and putting them together. And if you do need 50 plus granny squares, that's a lot, um, but so worth it. I've made a couple of granny square blankets and I will definitely be making some new ones in the winter months when it's a little bit colder. But yeah, this is probably gonna be one of my favorite patterns that I will share with you today. Love it. And then just moving on ever so slightly from the granny square, but not too much, is the granny striped. I have made a granny striped blanket and I absolutely love it. I made mine completely multicolored, so each row was a different color and it's gorgeous. I will insert a photo of my granny striped blanket up here for you now, so you can see I made this, I think maybe February, March time, if I remember correctly. Um, and it's amazing and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And it's a great yarn busting exercise to use up all that leftover yarn that you have. So if you are a crochet beginner, granny squares are worked in a square. Go figure with the name. The stripe is exactly the same method, but you're working across rather than into a square. So the actual stitch itself is exactly the same. It's just those three double crochets in a space and so forth. I always find that when I was a crochet beginner, starting yourself off is the most difficult bit. You will get the hang of it. Once you're mid flow, it's just become second nature. It is a great way of learning the double crochet stitch. Um, so yeah, you've got those two varieties. You've got the granny square blanket, and then you've also got a granny striped blanket. Exactly the same stitch, but it's just how that you're executing that into a blanket. But yeah, go for it because the color options and schemes and things you can do are just huge when it comes to granny striped or granny squares. And then just to throw a little bit of confusion, there is a third when it comes to grannies. So this one that I'm gonna share with you now, up here, gorgeous, is the corner to corner granny striped. So as I've said, the granny stripe will go up, line by line, row by row. Corner to corner, you are starting, so imagine this is the corner of your blanket, 
you are going to be starting your work from that absolute corner and you're going to be going diagonally up. So rather than your blanket having lines like this, it's going to be diagonal stripes, as you can see on the photo. So I've only ever made one, don't even know if I actually ever finished it, but it will go on my list to do. But corner to corner just gives your work that completely different view. So even if you do exactly the same colours as your striped, but you do a corner to corner, the view of it is going to look completely different. And again, with this pattern, you've got so much variety when it comes to picking your colours and the options that you can play around with to create. This pattern is by My Poppy Makes. What I will do is I will put the links to all of these free blanket patterns in the description of this video so that you can go and have a look and grab one of these patterns if it is something that you would like to make. The next pattern is from Daisy Farm Crafts. And I just think this is the most gorgeous, beautiful baby blanket. Um, I'll pop a little photo up here for you now. It looks really elegant, really sweet. I absolutely love the ruffles around the outside and I think that just really makes this blanket. I think if you were to take them away it would just be quite a basic blanket but with those it just gives it that really sweet baby kind of vibe to it. I love that it's blocked colour. I think you have to kind of do this blanket as a block colour. Um, but I love it and would be a really lovely blanket for you to make. This next pattern is from Mama in a Stitch. And this is the ripple blanket. So again, there'll be loads of ripple blankets out there that you can go and get the pattern for. But this is just to give you an example of a free ripple blanket pattern. And as you can see, it kind of has this effect to the pattern. A lot of people do the multicolored again to really emphasize that ripple in the pattern but then some people may do three rows of one color, switch color and vice versa. Like I said when it comes to blankets there are just no right or wrong. I think you can just completely run with what you want to do and so many varieties and options out there. A lot of um, the ripple blankets are just repeat rows. So as a crochet beginner, if you can get those first two rows down and you get it and it makes sense and it's correct, you're then just repeating yourself to the point of the length that you want the blanket to be. You can stop halfway for a baby blanket. You can keep going and so on for as long as you may want the blanket to become. And I think I have saved one of the best to last. This crochet designer is so, so popular in the world of crochet and it is all about Amy. Her crochet designs are stunning. She does a variety of different crochet patterns, but this is what I would probably deem as her classic. This is what I know her to have designed. If I see someone sharing their work and it's this, I know that that pattern has come from All About Amy and I will share it. It is the Daisy blanket. I have made a Daisy tote bag using her pattern and I will just put a little insert up there for you so you can see. And it's stunning. So I made the granny squares of this pattern and then turned it into a tote bag. But all you would be doing is just making these granny squares and making them into a blanket. So whereas earlier I showed you the granny square blanket, this is a similar concept. You would just be making the granny squares on repeat until you have enough for the size of the blanket you want to make. And then you will seam them all together to make one big daisy granny square blanket. I really, really love this. I've seen so many varieties online of this. Some people have done each square to be different color. Some people have done all one color. You don't even have to have that classic yellow and white for the daisy. You could mix those colours up too. It's really beautiful, really classic. And I think it would if you were making this for a gift, you can't go wrong. It is just stunning. Um, so yeah, I love it. So those are all 10 of the blanket ideas, free patterns that you could try as a crochet beginner or even as not a crochet beginner because I'm not a crochet beginner and I'm absolutely gonna go try some of those patterns. You've We've touched on the ripple, the granny square, the granny striped, corner to corner, the shell stitch. There's so many options out there. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you've seen something you like, but you don't quite like that blanket, so a ripple, but you don't quite like the one I've shown you, 
just go and search for ripple pattern blankets and you will absolutely find so many available out there. If you have any questions or would like to know anything, please drop me a comment. Or you can reach out to me on my socials. It's Love and Yarn Creations at, on both TikTok and on Instagram. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button to be notified of any more of my future uploads. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope this video has been helpful and has given you a little bit of blanket inspiration.